super, super comfortable in this match. Like, it's not yeah. that common. So maybe they'll both be figuring it out as the uh, go along too. Yeah, but once JJ gets in, I mean, that's a combo right there. Like up tilt, up tilt, up tilt, up air, up air. Like it's just so much, and it's just good. But here we go, game number one: JJ versus Dark Falcon in the winter quarters finals. I think again. Yeah, what did I say that right? Yeah, I did. Yep. <laughs> Yep, this is uh, the best two out of three before getting into your uh, top eight winner side. So it means a lot to you know win here, because you get once you get into the top eight side, you have you know best of five and you know more chances to you're figure up out. And okay, but this is already what you're talking about. Curve, Curve's combos are actually pretty damaging, even though mm -hmm. they start from you know pretty predictable things. Uh, all it all it takes is that one open. I would say. Yep, yep. And oh, the catch! Let's go. Nice. I like the double aerial there from Richter. I, all, it all comes down to how... Ooh. Ooh. I see, I, right. I see that often from Kirby players, and I still haven't figured out if it's actually true or not. Fair one into forward smash. It, like, it hits a lot, but... I, I don't think it's fast, but like, I don't think there's enough time to react to it, especially online. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, whoa, what just, what just happened? Especially in the first stock, like, you, you don't even know he's going for that to kill yet. So, I, I like that from JJ. Yeah, so far from JJ, like, JJ says, says, Cool, you think I need the copy ability? Nah, I'm good. I'll just combo the hell out of him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Kirby also has multiple jumps as well, so you can edge guard Richter mm. pretty well if he gets him in the right spot. But, uh, Dark Falcon's not doing too bad on this stock. He, he's yet to get hit. He's starting to get set up on stage, making it really difficult for JJ to approach. But, there's a forward throw into the forward air. Oh. Please don't, yep. don't jump in a bad spot. Well, the rage right there helped him get out of that combo. <laughs> yeah. If he messed up his jump a little bit, like and he got hit by a third forward air with no jump off stage, it might have actually been <laughs> over. Mm -hmm. But I think a good Richter player knows how to recover in those spots. Oh, yeah. Very good up B right there. Still not taking JJ down. I've never seen a Kirby live this long. <laughs> yeah. I was actually surprised the up B didn't kill because of uh, the buff on it. Yeah. Yeah, the more range, and I think it, I think it's faster as well. But yeah, and J Jaw is not going down without a fight. Getting 67% yeah. on Dark Falcon right now, and say 200%. <laughs> yeah, see the thing is, Kirby's light, but if you don't get the strong hit, that's like not easy to hit him at all. He can live pretty long, actually. And I just saw again, he cr he crouched under the back air spacing of a uh, Dark Falcon. I don't even think he was doing that intentionally. I think he just was, like, you know, landing from an aerial and he just happened to pancake under it. Yeah. But he does finally get that stock. And, uh, yeah, I think he's just going to have to find more opportunities to rack up damage safely. I think that's just been his main struggle so far. Jez has been very evasive on most of his, like, high damage use setups. Yeah, definitely. It looks like... JJ did a very, very good, do very good at that last stock, just keeping, like, keeping a lot, staying alive and everything, getting like almost 80% on Dark Falcon. So puts them at a very, very good lead right now. And they're sitting at 107 now. So literally four, forward air into anything could probably kill yeah, at he's this fishing, point. He's fishing for the forward air setup, but uh, up smash doesn't seem as consistent. I can see why he's going for it though, since like he's at higher percent, but forward air one might pop him up higher so you can get the up smash to work. but. It's not working so far. Still, though, since he has this really good lead and he has multiple jumps, I feel like he doesn't really have to force the kill, really. In, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah. And, but it looks like Dark Falcon is doing very, very well. Even, like, Kirby being such a small character, still aiming everything that he has and hitting j -Jaw. So I think uh, what they're doing is what, what they're doing is good right now because now it's almost it's a tie game at this point. Yeah. So good to Dark Falcon for bringing it back very well. But Ooh, tech chase oh. there. Yeah. That dash yeah. tech is pretty strong now. <laughs> and miss, missing techs is uh, usually pretty bad. <laughs> oh, know? yeah. Especially especially against Kirby. Yeah, Kirby. he has plenty of ways to lock you as well. Like with the down tilt lock as well. Mm -hmm. And down smash with Kirby, I think, I don't even know what frame it is. I know it's fast. Very, very, very fast. <laughs> So, oh, nice snipe, nice snipe. I like the axe there to cover the multiple jumps of a Jeja. I, I was kind of scared we were going to see a repeat of the last stock uh, with him just jumping over all these projectiles, racking up the safe percent. But, yeah, we got an even game now. And I, I kind of like that Dark Falcon. You know, he's been struggling a lot, but he's still staying pretty resilient. But don't get the down there yet. Oh, the double downer was coming. I saw it. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. coming. <laughs> Would have been completely nothing he could do to come back if he got hit by that second one. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Dark Falcon's not super deviating away from his strategy because uh, he may not get like the most percent, but he's uh, he's keeping the game you know, alive, you know. Yeah, he really is, and he's as I said, he's doing very well, like aiming all these projectiles. We saw that snipe in the last stock, so I think if he just keeps it up, he might if just keep his cool right now, he might be able to take this down. But no, looks like JJ was like, nah, 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 stay off stage, get out of here. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the power of having so many jumps against Richter off stage, like. Uh, at the end there, he, he just kind of jumped at him and threatened him to air dodge because he's at high percent, you know. And then as soon as he saw the air dodge, he's like, okay, I have a multi-hit aerial that will kill you. So, it's hit you oh, yeah. harder. Takes advantage of Richter's uh, poor recovery, sadly. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't think Dark Falcon's playing bad, to be Definitely honest. Definitely not. But it's just difficult for him to secure the kill. Like, he, he'll rarely get the uh, Holy Wire to connect since he's jumping so much, so he can't get that many holy water uh, board smashes or up smashes. And uh, he had to rely on like getting a raw aerial to kill or just the axe snipe. And, you know, those aren't super easy to get. So uh, it's just for him, I would say, just finding different ways to kill Kirby outside of like the typical Richter stuff. Yeah. So we're going to be going into game number two, JJ versus Dark Falcon. JJ up by one, so let's see the, the pick, and it's going to be back to PS2. Let's go. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought uh, JJ was like AFK there for a second. <laughs> oh, here comes the forward air and the forward. I'm sorry, the forward throw forward air, of course. Kirby staple. Let's go. So right now, they're both just, you know, they're trying to... Just get something in right now. Good little neutral going on right here. Like, retreating forward air with Kirby is just really, really, really good. It's good pressure shields with it. As you can see, JJ just keeps doing it. It's just, it does a decent amount of damage, and you can maybe combo off of it once in a while. Yeah. And if it doesn't combo, it, all it, if anything, it just sets up for uh, the stage control. It just pushes them so far. Maybe even just throw them off stage, and uh, mm -hmm. you already know how this matchup goes at this point. Yeah. Right. Good little Great time to the red. Okay. I, okay, I like that. He delayed it so you could get your damage. That was really good. <laughs> almost, so almost, almost, almost. Oh, oh catching like, that. I, Always be, being aware of that holy water bouncing off your shield is just very, very good. Mm -hmm. I like that. Even getting the Z drop aerials as well, just to keep the uh, holy water in play as, as long as possible. Definitely. Very smart stuff. And that's actually really tricky too, since Kirby has so many jumps anyway. If you did a full hop, I bet he could like Z drop aerial multiple times before touching the ground, while still having the holy water in his hand. Oh, okay. It's the poke. Oh, he wasn't paying attention to that holy water setup. Luckily, he only gets back aired. Might have potentially been able to time an up smash if he was a little bit more on point. But again, great spacing right now from Dark Falcon. Just barely oh, stay. Yeah. Spacing was nuts. And that's exactly what she want to see. Great snipe on the up air there, catching that jump. And I, I think now he might just be getting a habit on how Jeje likes to jump in neutral around these projectiles. So he's just timing them slightly different to catch his landings. But there's that neutral air. I think I saw the startup of his up B try to come out, but uh, Kirby neutral air saying no. Yeah, that neutral air out of shield is really, really good on Kirby. It's a get off me tool. So, oh, we got the, the Kirby staple. Here it is. Um, okay. okay. Yeah, I think there, yeah, Dark Falcon's like, all right, I can take all this damage as long as I don't get hit by the second down air. It's, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. So I'll just wait until he commits to the second down air and then I'll just up be safely the ledge. Still, though, that was a pretty good string for Jeja. Very good. Getting a lot of percent there. Nice up be out of shield, though. Yeah, Dark Falcon's starting to get set up a little bit here. Great punish on that down tilt on shield. No tech chase here though. Ooh, yeah, this is the best. This is the best lead Dark Falcon's had so far. And uh, you know, nature of playing a zoning character, the the more you have the lead, the better it is for you because your opponent gets more frustrated trying to approach you. I would say. Yeah, completely. 
Because like a lot of the, a lot of Smash comes down in esports in general. It all comes down to psychology as well. Like most definitely because you're not playing at your best if you're like saying, "Oh my God, I'm about to lose." Oh no! Like you want you want to have a confident mindset, but not too confident in order to like you know have the right mindset to win games. Because the right mindset will always like I think that's like maybe 20% of of games. You want you want to be at the highest as you can to like you know take any take anything really. Mm -hmm. And I, that's my favorite part about uh, Smash and just esports in general is the mo is like the psychology that goes on, like both players trying to get in, get in each other's heads, and just you know trying Ooh. to take advantage of what's going on. And there we go, good forward air taking down that stock from Jay Joss. And now Dark Falcon sitting at one twenty eight. Go for the roll read. Yeah, honestly, I don't blame him. Yeah. So many people roll in that position, especially when you just stand in front of them like that. But I like Dark Falcon, just like nah, bro. I've played this game before. <laughs> it's not elite Smash. Not gonna get up or four Smash by that. <laughs> But, again, I just really like that Dark Falcon, um, he's not deviating from his, like, main game plan of just, you know, I'm keeping Kirby out. I'm just, like, always have, like, this Holy Water on landing for his jumps. He has to get through my projectile wall if he wants to touch me early. And, uh, yeah, JJ more so than the last game has just been really struggling to adapt to this. Great angle down there. I like that from the down air and then angled down for it to catch this sweet spot. Just... Any percent he gets now is just so good for him. Look at him just down here around the whole stage. Like, you have to chase me, man. And this is kind of the struggle with Kirby, too, because he's not super, super fast on the ground, really. So if he's uh, committing the jumps, which are also really strong, his flow is not super hard to run away from him. If you, if you commit to the strategy that Dark Falcon is doing right now. But this could be the start of something. Goes for an oh. up tilt read instead yeah, of trying to, like... Rage. Yeah, yeah. I thought he would try to pressure him more off stage in that situation. One Which interesting thing I see, mean. one interesting thing I see Dark Falcon going for is the down air into the, uh, the axe, which I never, I never really seen oh. that before. But if it hits, I mean, hey, well, that, good on you for that. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's really good. Oh, Wait, no. he died! He died! Oh. oh no! He got jab blocked by a down tilt. He would have rage force smash, so he took extra knockback. And I think, I think he might have gotten scared of the inhale, so he didn't commit to any recovery. Yeah.